All right, you. Hold still. Let me feel your forehead. Mm, it's still super hot. How do you feel? Hey, hey, don't give me that. This is serious. I, I think you're pretty sick. Do you, do you feel cold or hot right now? Oh, all right. Looks like you're sweating, though. Oh, I know. I know it feels gross, babe. It'll be okay. Here. Here's a wet cloth. Yeah, let me wipe your forehead off. Oh, that's it. Yeah, of course you're going to be okay. Don't even talk like that, babe. I'm not going to let anything happen to you. No. But if you keep trying to get up and do things, <laughs> you're not going to give your body a chance to recover. So no more of that, okay? No, no, no you don't have to. <laughs> Look, honey... Your work will be there when you're better. It's not going anywhere. So just sit your butt down and stop moving and let me wash your face. No, sit. sit. Yeah, I am going to be like that. Because uh, the way you're acting. Oh, look, if you don't stay down, I'm going to sit on you. You're sick, and you need to let me take care of you. Yes, I will sit on you. I will sit on you like a giant Snorlax, all right? And you're going to get squished so bad that being sick is going to be the last thing on your mind. <laughs> oh, oh, no, I'm sorry. Oh, I shouldn't make you laugh right now. Oh, baby, it's okay. Here, try and try and drink some water. Please. For me. Um, you know, you really don't look so good. Maybe I should take you to the hospital. I know, I know, I know you don't like it there, babe. I do, but... Listen to me, I'm... I'm starting to get a little bit worried about you. And I... I think it would be for the best if I took you to the hospital, okay? I know, I know, but... No, it's not really bad, baby. Hon honestly, don't... Don't freak out, okay? It, it's gonna be okay. Give me your hand. It's gonna be okay, babe. I'm gonna take you to the hospital... And everything's going to be okay. Don't be scared. I will be right there. Yes, I promise. I promise. I super, super duper promise, baby. I'm going to be right with you the entire time. Don't worry. I'm going to drive you there myself. And I'll be right by your side. I'm not going to leave you. Okay. Baby, please, don't be so sad. You have to be strong for me, okay? Okay, you can do that. You can do it. Yeah, I'm going to bring you anything you need from home, all right? I know, I know, it's it's not a nice place. <laughs> no, look, put the pillow down. Put, put it down. Look at me. Have I ever let anything happen to you before? No. I'm not going to start now, all right? I'm doing this because we have to get you better. I love you, babe. Just trust me, okay? Okay. Okay, okay, come here. Do you think you can walk? Okay, no, no, wait, don't, don't strain yourself, all right? How about you just lie down right here, and I'm going to collect some of your things. I'll pack up a few things, and then I'm going to carry you to the car, okay? Baby? Baby? Okay, okay. 
Hold on, hold on. We're going right now. Just hold on for me. Hold on, beautiful. Oh. Oh my god, you're finally awake. Hi. Hi. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, you were, you were sleeping for a long time. Well, he, he started coughing really, really badly, and then you just kind of went delirious, and I, I carried you to the car, and I rushed you to the hospital, and um, here we are. Everything's going to be okay. You have the biggest sleepy eyes right now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you do. How are you feeling? I mean, I know it's a stupid question, but how are you feeling, babe? Uh, yeah, yeah, you're on some pretty strong medication right now. That's normal. They want you to sleep it off, but... I was told that there was some chance that you'd wake up, so thought I'd uh thought I'd stay here until you wake up. But you slept so long. Mm, yeah, sorry, your hand's kind of sweaty. I was holding it like the entire time. I'm sorry. <laughs> here. Uh, I think your body really needed it. You were totally out of it. Yeah, you're sleeping like an angel. <laughs> no, 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 not like that. Like an angel. I, I promise. It doesn't doesn't matter that you drooled on yourself. You were totally an angel. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, beautiful. Come here. So, <clears throat> the good news is that they think you're going to be fine. Your immune system was just completely run down. So you're going to need lots and lots of rest. And you're going to need lots of sleep and hydration. But the bad news is that you may have to stay here for a few days, babe. Yeah. Yeah, you were super low on everything. You were super dehydrated. Yeah, that's an IV. Oh, no, 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 baby, don't look at it. Don't, hey, hey, look at me. It's going to be okay. Just don't look at it. Give me your face. It's going to be okay. You're going to be okay. And we're going to be okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> Is it scruffy? <laughs> yeah, I, <clears throat> I haven't showered or shaved. I'm like, yeah, I'm super scruffy right now. <laughs> yeah. And if you didn't wake up soon, I was getting worried. I was going to rub it all over your face until you woke up and told me off. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Boop. Speaking of which, I brought you some stuff. Yeah. Brought your bag. No, no, lie down. Lie. God, you never learn, don't you? <laughs> Okay, lie back, baby. And stop trying to move. Oh, you're so stubborn. Okay, here, I'll help you sit up. <clears throat> here, hold on to me. Yep. There we go. There we go. Is that okay? Yeah. You're not like lightheaded or anything? Okay. All right, here. I asked for another pillow, so take this. Okay, so I brought your favorite blanket. Yeah. And I brought you your cardigan from home, just in case you're cold. And here you go. And I brought your slippers. Mm -hmm. 
got to keep your little toes warm. And I brought some toiletries. I brought a brush and lip balm. Uh, I honestly didn't know what to bring. <laughs> but yeah, I thought like maybe this would help make you feel better. And finally, surprise, I brought blueberry. Yeah, well, uh, I don't know. Hospital pillows aren't really good for hugging, so I thought you needed your favorite stuffy. And it's a little boring in here. So here you go. Take Blueberry. You can hug him. And I'm, I think I'm going to brush your hair a little bit. <laughs> it's a little bit of a mess right now, babe. Yeah. No, no, you look, you look amazing. I'm just, I'm just going to brush it a little bit. Okay. <laughs> what? Look, I've seen you do it a million times. I'm not going to ruin it. Oh my God, honey. You are literally sitting in a hospital bed right now. Just let me take care of you for once. Okay. You know what? You're sick. I'm going to pretend that I didn't hear that. And I will have you know that I'm very, very good at this kind of thing. Uh-huh. Yeah, just watch me, okay? See, I'm not bad. <laughs> yeah, I told you. I'm good at this. It's It's easy. <sighs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, if you didn't listen to me, you would still be lying in bed at home. So you're just going to have to trust me and let me brush your hair. Ah, you got a bit of a knot in here. It's okay. No, I'll be gentle, babe. It's okay. I'll, I'll admit, I always kind of wanted to try brushing your hair. And to be honest, I need something to do. I've been sitting here beside you, worrying about you for hours, to be perfectly honest. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm not going to lie. It was a little scary, babe. Yeah. I don't know. Honestly, you just, you scared me, all right? When I saw you lying there, you looked so ill. You looked so weak. I've never seen you like that before. And I, I didn't know what to do. I, I feel like I always have an answer. And I just didn't know what to do. So don't you ever get that sick again, all right? No, you're not allowed. <laughs> if you do, I'll, I don't know, just. Just never do that again, okay? You're always pushing yourself so hard and you're not taking care of yourself. And God, you know what? If I wasn't so worried about you right now, I would totally be lecturing you. I'm not, I'm, I'm not lecturing you right now, all right? <clears throat> I'm trying to tell you, I'm trying to tell you that you mean absolutely everything to me and if I lost you I can't even imagine what my life would be like so uh, so you're not allowed doing things like that ever again all right <clears throat> besides we have so many things that we have to do together hmm Let's see, let's think of some nice things that we have to do when you get better. Um, well, we have to go on vacation together. Maybe we can go bikini shopping. I think that would be kind of cool. And we still have to do that tourist date night that we were thinking about doing. Go all over town dressed up like tourists. Yeah. Hmm. We still have to buy a house, you know, have like five kids and all that. <laughs> well, your eyes got so big. <laughs> I'm kidding, baby. You don't, we don't have to make five kids. Okay. We can just have like, 
you know, four or like 10 or two if you're feeling tired. I don't know. <laughs> what? Hey, stop looking at me like that. Of course, I've thought about stuff like that. All right. I'm not saying like right now. I'm just saying, you know, in the future, maybe if you're down for the job. <laughs> Of course I love you, you big goofball. <laughs> now, let's get some food in you. And then, sleep time, alright? Alright, sweetie. <laughs>